Welcome back YouTube and fellow berserkers. Today we're going to start building a shaving horse just like this one right here that I made last year. So for those of you who've never seen a shaving horse or have heard the term and don't really know what it is, it's basically a workbench that you can sit on and there's a pedal down here that you operate that is adjustable on the height that operates the part up here called the dumb head. The dumb head holds down your workpiece and you can put a piece of wood in here and actually and work on it with a draw knife or with a, with a carving knife or whatever it is you're doing. And it holds your workpiece in sturdy so that you can really put some, now I'm putting a lot of pressure down on this right now and it's not moving a millimeter. So this is the type of project that you really want to make sure you wear safety goggles because it's going to spatter filings everywhere for a little bit first until the drill bit is in the wood and then I rotate the drill bit into the proper angle that I would uh, want. Now I'm using my body to, to align the drill bit and just hold with my weight the angle of about 45 degrees. And I'm going to do this one and then I'm going to do the other leg and I'm going to spin the board around so that the hole that I'm drilling is always closest to me so I can maintain that equal measurement. And I'm going to start it at 90 degrees until I'm in the wood and then I'm going to go back into my preferred angle holding the drill just like this. That gives me a perfect feel for the angle that I have and I, I do all my bench work like this. They always turn out really nice. So I went ahead and cut the legs to length. And now I have one of the legs here in the shaving horse to demonstrate actually how to use the shaving horse. This is the best example for legs for a bench. Now I have a draw knife here, my specific um, choice here, my personal favorite. You can also use the draw knife set it down and then wiggle it in and then just back off with the cut you're going to make. If you have a really difficult spot like at the bottom of a knot you don't want to make a mistake or you can be real careful and use short movements like this and work your way forward so that you can uh, get a feel for how the wood is and how your tool is reacting to the surface of the wood before and after effect. You have a really nice piece of wood and I have, this looks kind of rotten and this is what this is going to look like when it's finished. The dogs have decided to come check out to see what I'm doing. They couldn't stand sitting around waiting. You know, what's going on? What? What? Hungry? Oh, okay, the dogs is hungry. Time to start working, I guess. Yep. So I've gone ahead now and I've fastened down the center block for the work surface. And what I'm doing now is I've drilled the holes for the wooden dowels that I'm going to use to secure the work surface to the workbench. So I'm going to do that real quick. I've put some wood glue inside the hole already. And now I'm just driving down the wooden pegs into the actual fitting. So I spent the last hour drilling this hole here and honing it to the correct size so that my thread rod would fit. What I'm going to do now is take the dumb, the dumb head. I'm going to find its optimal position and I'm going to drill through here into the dumb head marking the spot where I want to use for, for a pivot.
So what I've managed to do now is I've managed to cut away the section where you sit and your legs go so that you can easily, easily place forward the uh, foot pedal. So what I've done now is I've traced the, the square of the foot of the dumb head or the foot pedal goes through that section. I've traced the square and now I'm going to cut out the square for the foot pedal. I'm going to file all of this with a rasp to fit perfectly. All right, now I got the, the foot pedal to fit and it slides on there. I'm going to test to see how it works. Oh, great. Here it is. It's almost finished. I'm very happy it came out nicely. Got to do some more final trimming it up. And nice and I'm going to apply some linseed oil and the battery is about to die so I'm going to put this on there real quick oil it down really nice and put a new battery in the camera and I'll show you what I came up with so I got it all nice and oiled and it looks awesome just got to give it a couple coats I'm to compare it compare it here couple of coats of oil more and it'll be finished. I have to put some nuts and washers on the end there. Yeah, unfortunately our legs that we had, those uh, awesome looking, it looks like feet from a horse, they didn't work out too well. So I had to make, I recycled the left and right piece that I cut off of the, to use for the dumb, dumb head there, for the center arm. And I made them into feet, which worked out really nice. Now it's all oiled up. It's pretty cool. So my next project after this, after this is finished, for this week is going to be making a spoon mule for carving spoons. It's going to be an exciting project. Basically, the same idea. A bench with a workstation in the front of it. And you use your feet as well to hold your work. Um, I haven't made one before. It's going to be my first try. I hope it's going to be a success. We'll have to see. So that project, project there is pretty much done. Just got to put a couple of fasteners on there and that'll be all. So uh, like always, stay safe and see you soon.